to grade 10 TLE cooking class. So in this video lesson, we are going to discuss lesson 1 of quarter 4, which pertains to prepare and cook meat. So this lesson covers the skill, knowledge, and attitudes required to prepare and cook meat. So at the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following. The first one is perform mise en place. Second, cook meat cuts. Third, present and evaluate meat dishes. And the last one is store meat. So that, let us discuss now learning outcome number one, which pertains to perform mis and plus. So these are the contents. The first one is a classification of meat, tools and equipment needed in preparing meat dishes, applied safe and accurate cutting techniques, prepared a range of meat dishes to enterprise standards, characteristics of meat including type, cut, quality, and fat content, the characteristics of different meat cuts including primary, secondary and portion cut the types of meat and its source and the last one are the components of meat so before we begin our discussion will you please take a look at the following pictures so what did you notice correct there are samples of meat which one you are familiar with yes the picture at the center or the second picture, which is, yes, it is pork. Okay, when we say meat, it is a term for the flesh of cattle, sheep, and pigs. And meat comprises of water, protein, fat, and various amount of minerals and vitamins. Beef is divided into large sections called Primal cut. So, sa Tagalog, ano nga sa Tagalog ang beef? Beef is karne, baka. It is divided into large sections called primal cut. This beef, primal cuts or primal, are then broken down further into individual steak and other retail cuts. A side of a beef is literally one side of the beef carcass that is split through the backbone. Each side is then halves, then between the 12 in the 13th ribs into sections called the fore quarter and the hind quarter. Quarks. Okay, another example of meat is pork. Karneng baboy. It is divided into large sections called primal cuts. So the large section of meat is called primal cuts. These primal cuts are then divided or broken down further into individual retail Cuts. Pork is another choice as far as meat types are concerned. Pork is derived from pig and is classified as red meat. However, this meat is less fatty than beef. So, pork is less fatty than beef. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, sa karneng baboy, the, fat, the fats are visible or nakikita natin agad yung taba ng Baboy. Samantalang sa karing baka, although siya ay mas mataba kaysa sa pork, hindi na hindi visible yung kanyang fats. The fats are invisible dahil yung kanyang fats ay nakatahi sa fiber ng mga muscle or embedded sa muscle ng, sa fiber ng muscle ng karne. So, beef is very popular and is used across the globe. This meat is obtained from cow and is one of the much sought after types of red meat. Okay, so kilala sa buong mundo ang ah, kilala ang beef kaysa sa pork. And ang beef is classified as red meat. Sheep meat is also a staple food in some parts of the world and is consumed in many regions. Sheep meat is otherwise known as muton, meat of matured sheep or lamb. Immature sheep, also classified as red meat. So, yung sheep meat, o oh, sa Tagalog ay tupa. So, kung tawagin, yung sheep meat is other called as muton if it comes from uh, meat of matured sheep or lamb if it, it comes from immature sheep. 
Okay. So, sa pagpiprepare ng mga meat or ng karne, kinakailangan nating gumamit ng mga tools and equipment. At ang pinakang common nating ginagamit ay yung mga kutsilyo. So, we are going to discuss now the different types of knives in their uses. So, the first one is what we call the French knife or the chef knife. The chef knife is used for general purpose, chopping, slicing, and dicing. So, French knife or chef knife is used for general purpose of chopping, slicing, and dicing. The second type of knife is yung tinatawag natin utility knife, which is used for carving roast chicken and duck. Utility knife used for carving roast, chicken, and duck. The third one is what we call the boning knife. The boning knife is used for boning raw meats and poultry. Used for boning raw meat and poultry, that is the boning knife. Okay, number four, you have the slicer. The slicer is used for carving and slicing cooked meat cuts. Slicer is used for carving and slicing cooked meat cuts. Okay, the butcher knife. The butcher knife is used for cutting, sectioning, and trimming raw meat in the butcher shop. So the butcher knife is used for uh, cutting, sectioning, and trimming raw meats in the butcher shop. Another one is what we call the scimitar. The scimitar or a steak knife. Scimitar or a steak knife is used for accurate cutting of steak. Scimitar or a steak knife is used for accurate cutting of steaks. Number seven, the last one is what we call the cleaver. The cleaver is used for clever is used for cutting through bones. So pantadtad paghiwa ng mga Buto is the clever used for cutting through bones. Okay, let us discuss now the composition of meat. So, ano-ano nga ba ang bumubuo sa isang, o oh, sa karne? So, the first one is water. Number one is water. 70% of the muscle tissue ng karne ay too big. 70% of the muscle tissue is water. Okay, take a look at the table. Presented, uh, you have three columns. The first one are the product name. The second are the percentage of water when they are raw and they are cooked. So what uh, what can you say about the table? What did you notice about the table? Which person? Uh, which column contains the higher percentage? Yes, you're correct. The percentage of water in the raw meat are higher than the cooked meat. Or the percentage of water in the cooked meat is less than or lesser than the percentage of water in the raw meat. Okay, the second component is what we call the protein. Protein. 20% of the muscle tissue is the protein. The protein coagulates when it is heated it becomes firmer and loss, uh, loses moisture when protein has coagulated to the desired degree the meat is said to be done so yun yung nagiging dahilan kung bakit ang karne kapag ating ipiniprito ay gumaganit or parang tumitigas because of the protein content which is 20% of the muscle tissue the third component is what we call the fat. So fat, 5% of the muscle tissue is the fat. The fat in the meat contributes to A, its juiciness. Kaya nagiging parang malasa, masabaw ang karne is because of its fat content which is 5%. So marbling is the fat that is deposited within the muscle tissue. Ang tawag dun sa fat na nakadeposit o naka-embed dun sa muscle tissue ay tinatawag nating marbling. Surface fats protect the meat from drying out during cooking. The adding surface fat is called 
boarding. Yung pagdadagdag natin ng ka, uh, kaunting uh, oil or parang mantika or ba butter dun sa ating niluluto, ang tawag natin doon ay boarding. So, the marbling, marbling is the fat that is deposited within the muscle tissue. The natural fat within the meat is the marbling and the boarding is the adding surface fat is called boarding or the artificial fat which is added to the meat to prevent them from drying. Okay, it contributes aside from juiciness, letter B is for its tenderness. Marbling separates muscle fiber making meat easier to chew. So, marbling separates muscle fibers making meat easier to chew. And letter C is flavor. Fat is the main source of flavor in Meat. So, fats contributes to the juiciness, tenderness, and flavor of the meat. So, the fourth component is what we call carbohydrates. Carbohydrates plays a necessary part in the complex reaction called the Maillard reaction, which, take, which takes place when meat are browned by roasting, broiling, or sautéing. Without carbohydrates, desirable flavor appearance on brown meat would not be achieved. So, ang dahilan kung bakit ang karne ay nagiging kulay brown kapag naluto na, specifically kapag ito ay ating uh, ipinerito or ginisa or sinangkot siya, kaya siya nagiging kulay brown that is because of the carbohydrates which is, which is responsible for the Maillard reaction. Okay, let us discuss now the structure of meat. So, kung titingnan ninyo ang karne, meron siyang tinatawag nating taba at meron siyang laman. The structure of meat, the first one is, so, is called the muscle fiber. So, the muscle fiber or yung mga hibla. Lean meat is composed of long thin muscle fibers bound together in bundles. This determine the texture or grain of a piece of meat. So, yung muscle fiber is composed of lean meat or lean meat lean meat, yung karneng laman is composed of long thin muscle fibers bound together in bundles. This determine the texture or grain of a piece of meat. Meron tayong tinatawag na fine grain at saka may coarse grain. Yung fine grain meat is composed of small fibers bound in small fibers. The coarse, uh, the coarse fibers are the textured meat that has large fibers. So, fine ay small fibers. Coarse ay pag ito ay mga large fibers. So, paano natin madidetermine uh, yung fiber ng isang uh, karne? Okay, kapag ang karne ay maedad or ito ay matanda na, so mas malaki or mas coarse ang kanyang fiber as compared dun sa young uh, animal. So yung older animal has coarse, has, has coarse fiber while, while the young animals has uh, more fine fibers. Okay, the second one, the second structure of meat aside from muscle fibers ay tinatawag natin connective tissues. Okay, yung connective tissues sabi nga natin sa Tagalog ay gatil. Gatil. Connective tissues, these, these are networks of protein that bind the muscle fiber together. Connective tissue is tough. Maganit. Meats are high in connect, connective tissues if the muscles are more exercised like meat from legs and the meat comes from older animal. So, mas maraming connective tissues ang uh, karne kapag ito ay nasa bahagi na laging ginagamit ng hayop kagaya ng bahagi ng karne na kung tawagin natin ay pata. Pata or bias. O di kaya ay kapag ang uh, hayop ay matanda na or older mas marami ang kanyang connective tissues. So, the, the, there are two kinds of connective tissues. The first one is what we call collagen. Collagen are white connective tissue that dissolves or breaks down by long or slow cooking with 
liquid white connective tissue that dissolves or breaks down by long slow cooking with liquid they are the collagen the moist heat cooking method at low temperature are not effective for turning a meat high in connective tissue into tender juicy finished product acid helps dissolve collagen so acid helps dissolve collagen so yung mga collagen kinakailangan natin ng uh, matagal na pagluluto para ito ay ating uh, mapalambot matagal na pagluluto at low temperature pero mas mabuti na nilalagyan natin ito ng acid or asin kagaya ng nakatikim na kayo ng mga laman luog yung mga laman luog ng uh, karne tinatawag nating variety cuts yan yun ay nilalagyan ng suka or tinatawag natin ay pinapaksiw para mas mabilis yung kanyang pagpapalambot okay aside from collagen meron tayong tinatawag na elastin elastin are yellow connective tissue and is not broken down in cooking tenderizing can be accomplished only by removing the elastin by pounding and by slicing and grinding so mayroon tayong dalawang uri ng connective tissues the first one is collagen and the second one is elastin the first one the collagen is white connective tissues the elastin are the yellow connective tissue Okay, so let us discuss now the basic preparations of methods of meat. Basic preparation methods of meat. Okay, so bago lutuin, meron tayong mga ginagawang paumaraan uh, doon sa ating biniling karne. So the first one is yung tinatawag nating washing. Washing generally, the only occasion in which you will have to wash meat is when it comes into contact with blood during preparation. After washing, dry the food thoroughly with absorbent kitchen paper. So, matapos hugasan, atin ang papatuloy ng karne, kaya hinuhugasan para matanggal yung dugo. Okay, the second one is skinning o yung pagtatanggal ng balat. Skinning, most of the meat you dealt with has been skinned by the Supplier. So, kadalasan natanggal na yung balat. Yung mga balahibo ay natanggal na. Sa halimbawa sa baboy, yung balahibo ay natanggal na. Kung ito ay karning kalabaw or karning baka, natanggal na yung balat ng kalabaw or balat ng baka. That is the process of uh, skinning. The third one is what we call dicing. Meat are diced when it is cut into cube for various types of casseroles, stem, curies, curries, and dishes like steak, kidney pie, and padding. So, dicing ay yung paghihiwa, cutting into cubes. Dicing is cutting into cubes. O, kapag ito ay malapit ng iluto. Number four is trimming. Trimming. The reasons for trimming, it helps to improve the appearance of the cut or joint. Letter B, leave as much of the meat intact as possible. Letter C, leave an even thickness of fat where fat is to be left. How much fat you trim off will depend on the type of meat preference and the cooking process to be Use. And letter D, remove as much gristles and sinews as possible. So, trimming, yun yung pagpapantay-pantay natin ang hiwa ng or slice ng karne. Kapag ini-slice ang karne, dapat ay uh, proportion, yung distribution ng fats at saka nung muscle fiber. Yan. O, depende sa kung anong menu or dishes ang inyong uh, ipiprepare ng customers. Number five is slicing. Slicing, it is the cutting of meat by determining the direction of the grain, the muscle fibers, and, the, and cut across the grain. This is particularly important with tougher cuts such as steak in which the grain is also quite obvious. 
You slice meat with instead of against the grain. Slicing ay yung tamang paghihiwa ng karne. It is the cutting of meat by determining the direction of the grain. And cut across the grain. This is particularly important with copper cuts such as steak. Number six is seasoning. So seasoning, it is the addition of salt and white or black pepper to improve the flavor of food. Okay, yung pagpagdadagdag natin ng mga pampalasa. Seasoning is the addition of salt and white or black pepper to improve the flavor of food. Okay, sa paglalagay ng seasoning, letter A, Use white pepper or cayenne pepper on food which you want to keep attractive in white color. So, kung gusto mo ay mapanatiling maputi at di makita ang rekado, ang paminta, ang gagamitin mo ay white pepper or cayenne pepper. Letter B, add salt to roast and grill after the meat has browned. Adding salt before cooking will extract the juice of the meat to the surface and it slows down the browning reaction. It's okay. Okay, number seven is coating. Coating. Pag pagbabalot, pagpapagulong, paglalagay o pagdaragdag. The two basic coatings are, A, gumagamit tayo ng flour. Coat the meat before cooking, otherwise the flour becomes sticky and unpleasant. Before cooking, you are, you are going to coat with flour. Letter B is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs coat the meat and flour, then egg wash. Uh, egg, egg wash is made of lightly beaten whole egg with a light water, little water and milk, and finally with the breadcrumbs. Okay, so meron tayong two basic coat, coating. Yung una ay yung flour and the second na ginagamit natin ay breadcrumbs. Okay, let us discuss now the different kinds of meat and its source. So, very common tayo dun sa tinatawag nating pork. Karneng baboy. Pork. Meat is from domesticated pigs, typically high in fat, commonly slaughtered one year or less of age to ensure Tender cuts. Okay. Pork or karne. Baboy from domesticated pig. Okay. The second type of meat. Meron tayo tinatawag na beef or karne. Baka. Uh, meat from cattle over one year old. Beef or meat from cattle over one year old. Okay. Number three. We have lamb. Lamb are the meats of domesticated Sheep. Lamb are the meat of domesticated sheep. Number four, you have the carabip. Carabip are meat from carabao. So, hindi, lahat ng, hindi sa lahat ng lugar ay kinakain ang karne kalabaw. So, may mga lugar sa Pilipinas hindi kumakain ng karne kalabaw. Pero sa Infanta, dito sa atin, kinakain ang karne kalabaw. Okay, number five is veal. Veal are flesh of is a flesh from a young calf, four to five months old. Because of its age, it is con considered by some of the finest meat. So veal is a flesh from a young calf, which is four to five months old. Karneng baka na batang baka sa tagalog ay guya. It is considered as the finest meat. Siyempre, mas mataas din ang presyo. Okay, number six, you have shivon. Shivon are meat from deer or goat. Shivon are meat from deer or goat. Okay, so this is all about uh, learning outcome number one, which is performing miss and last. Okay, before I end up my discussion, I want you to reflect on the following question or reflect on what you have learned. You may write your answer in a whole sheet of pad paper. Additional points will be credited to those students who will do the reflection.
Okay, the first question. Describe the water component of meat when it is cooked. Describe the water component of meat when it is cooked. Okay, second. What cooking method is used for meat with high connective tissue? What cooking method is used or suitable for meat with high connective tissues? Number three. Will you name some part of meat with high connective tissue and then explain why? Name some part of meat with high connective tissue and then explain why. And number four, enumerate the basic preparation methods of meat. Enumerate the basic preparation of preparation methods of meat. Okay, do you have further questions about learning outcome number one? Performing miss, miss and plus. Okay. Let us go to your evaluation or for your assessment. Uh, prepare one whole sheet of pad paper with you. Or if you have your activity sheets with you, you may use your activity sheets. Okay. Activity 1. This is match column A with column B. Match column A with column B. Write the letters only. Please use capital letters. Pertains to the different types of knives. So the choices are letter A, butcher knife. B, chef knife. Letter C, clever. D, utility knife. Letter E, slicer. The choices are A, butcher knife. B, chef knife. C, clever. D, utility knife. E. Slicer. The first statement. It is used for cutting through bone. Number one. It's used for cutting through bones. Number two. It is used for carving and slicing cooked meat. It is used for slicing, carving and slicing cooked meat. Number three. It is used for general purposes. Used for general purposes. Number four, it is used for carving roast chicken and duck. Used for carving roast chicken and duck. Number five, it is used for cutting and trimming raw meats. Okay, another set. It is also matching type. Uh, the types of meat and its source. Type of meats and its source. The choices are letter A, beef. Letter B, cara beef. Letter C, veal. D, lamb. Letter E, chivon. The choices are A, beef. B, cara beef. C, veal. D, lamb. E, chivon. Okay, number six, young cow. Young cow. Number seven, goat. Seven, goat. Number eight, sheep. Number eight, sheep. Number nine, cattle over one year old. Cattle over one year old. And number ten is carabao. Ten is carabao. Okay, for your activity number two, this is true or false. You are going to write like or delete. Like or delete. You have to write or click like if the statement is correct. And click delete if it is incorrect. Ano daw ang isasagot? Like or delete. Number 11. A side of a beef is literally one side of the beef carcass that is split through the backbone. A side of a beef is literally one side of the beef carcass that is split through the backbone. Number 12, fork is derived from pig and is classified as red meat. Fork is derived from pig and is classified as red meat. 
Number 13. Beef has less fat than pork. Beef has less fat than pork. Number 14. Each side of a beef is halves between the 13th and the 14th section, the fourth quarter and the hind quarters or the hind section. Number 14. Each side of a beef is halved between the 13th and the 14th sections, the fourth quarter and the hind quarter sections. Number 15. Sheep is otherwise known as muton or lamb. Sheep is otherwise known as muton or lamb. Number 16. Fat is the main source of flavor in meat. Fat is the main source of flavor in meat. 17. The more exercise muscle of animals contain more connective tissue. The more exercise muscles of animals contain more connective tissues. Number 18. Collagen is a yellow connective tissue which is not broken down during cooking. Collagen is a yellow connective tissue which is not broken down in cooking. Number 19. Maillard reaction which takes place when meat are browned by roasting, broiling, and sautéing. Maillard reaction takes place when meats are browned by roasting, broiling, or sautéing. Number 20. The water content in meat increases as it is cooked. The water content in meat increases as it is cooked. Okay. For your activity number three, you have to identify the basic preparation methods of meat. Identify the basic preparation methods of meat. Choose your answer from the following. Washing, slicing, seasoning, trimming, coating, skinning, and dicing. So these are the choices. Washing, slicing, seasoning, trimming, coating, skinning, and dicing. Are you ready? Number 21. Adding of bread crumbs. 21. Adding of bread crumbs. 22. Adding of salt, white, and black pepper. Adding of salt, white, and black pepper. 23. Cutting of meat. Cutting of meat. Number four, cutting into cubes. Cutting into cubes. Twenty-five. And the last number, twenty-five, improving the appearance of cut meat. Twenty-five, improving the appearance of cut meat. Okay, so are you done? So that is all about learning outcome number one. Perform Miss and Plus under the lesson Prepare and Cook Meat Cuts. Okay, once again, this is Mom Odeline and thank you for watching this video lesson. You have done a great job. Congratulations. Keep safe. Bye.